Hello everybody. It's been a while since I found anything on the streets of Chicago, maybe a couple weeks, and then I'm walking around, and then I see this ginormous thing, and, you know, I'm filming this in the middle of September, so I know Halloween is, is coming, but I couldn't help to notice this grill. So first of all, this is a Ford Excursion. Let's see. Um, a couple of you did notice that I sometimes have like a fishbowl effect. And the reason for that is I'm using my Samsung Galaxy Note 20 that I got a little bit ago. And uh, I have to zoom out a lot because like where I'm standing, not to get run over, you know, if I start filming standard, like it's way too zoomed in. So I'm trying to kind of zoom out. And I noticed this hood. So anyway, I... Uh, I'm zooming out so I could actually capture this thing because this thing is huge. I mean, Ford was really ahead of its time in creating giant SUVs, which right now it's, you know, you can't really surprise anyone, but I think this thing is giant even for like what, late 90s, early 2000s, whatever excursions are made. And it looks like, you know, this thing is huge even by today's standard. And this is compared to like an Escalade or a Navigator or whatever those current ones are so anyway i don't know if they did this whole thing for halloween or just for uh you know for looks but it definitely gives this thing a nice powerful stance and looks like they have some sort of a attachment on top and there's a a spoiler on the back and this is like a base model so it's it's an interesting one like that all right, people are walking around me and giving me dirty stink eye because I'm filming them and potentially their car. So I have to kind of do this quickly in the middle of the street. So yeah, this thing looks nice. Like I'm not in the SUVs at all, but but even I appreciate it. So you see, like in order for me to capture this entire thing with a East to Clark sign, I have to like. I'm standing away, like 20 feet away from this thing to capture it. So that's why I sometimes have to use this view, although it does kind of make it look like the image is distorted. So anyway, looks like it has, you know, aftermarket tires. The interior, I'll post a picture, is nothing. It's a base XLT. There's no modification. But in general, I like this thing. I would definitely want to drive an excursion. I never have. I drove plenty of expeditions, but never an excursion, especially if it's a diesel. But this one doesn't look like it's a diesel, so. All right, thank you everybody. If I find anything else, I'll tack it along. Otherwise, see you next time. Well, another thing I could show you is this pretty destroyed Toyota Camry just sitting here. Look at all the, the stuff that's happening with it. Look, there's literally holes in the bodywork from all the rust. Now, it's got this, I don't know, flower base, whatever. So I can't really get to it too close without it being too overpowering. So the one thing that I that I noticed is that the gas cap cover is black. So obviously it came from a different car right there. So I wonder if the original, you know, or if, if the same owner who owns this car now, was that the same person who put it on there? Because if they did, then why did they even bother? Uh, but if they didn't, obviously that would make sense. So anyway, what do, what do we have here? Not to get run over. Yeah, it's got some weird holes and stuff, so. All right, I think I got a better angle right here. So yeah, obviously this car is, uh, you know, it, it's, it's rough. I mean, I'm pretty sure it still drives in the owner who does look like they kind of live out of this thing with all of its dents and all the stuff that's inside. Look at this. Well, now this finding this car like this, it's not surprising to me. There's plenty of older cars, but looks like they really do live out of that thing because there's trash and toys and all that stuff. So, yeah, I guess, you know, you got a little Ford Excursion. That was in pretty good shape. You have a destroyed Camry. Why not? Well, and I guess to end on a good note, a couple cars away from that destroyed Camry, 
we do have this very nice looking Dodge Challenger in beautiful color. I don't know, just the, the color alone kind of caught me off guard. I was walking through, I was like, oh, hello. You know, wheels. I think, I think these are Dodge factory wheels, if I'm not mistaken, because they got the little two, you know, sporty uh, stripes there. Yeah, and then, you know, despite these chargers, challengers, and even 300s, you know, being as old as, a, as they are, they, are, they still have a certain presence. And this particular one, although I don't think it's... I don't think it's like anything special. I do think it's pretty standard. It's, it's got a California license plate, so it could be also a rental car. Although I don't see the little barcodes. And uh, the interior is, is basic. There's nothing in there of interest. Yeah, and it's got... Like, it doesn't have any badge that would signal that it's uh, anything special. And it's got a camera. I like how they put the camera in the spoiler. Nice. Pretty uh, classy look, uh, considering that when this car came out, they did not have backup camera requirements. So, yeah. Sorry, planes... So I do, I do love this look. Not gonna lie. Here, zooming out. Yeah, I like this. So you got a nice, nice litter. You can always count on Chicagoans to litter their old streets. So, wow. Look at that. Looks like, looks like an alien spaceship from up here. And, but anyway. All right, so this is one of the few channels out here on YouTube that you can get a destroyed... Camry, a Ford Excursion, and a Dodge Challenger in beautiful color, all in the same video. So, if you don't like this stuff, sorry, I can't help you, because that's what it's all about. Thank you, everybody.